It's not your grandmother's fairy tale. This is the genderbred person, a colorful graphic created to explain the complicated nature of gender identity. A poster with the image was hanging on a whiteboard in a classroom at Meadowview School. Briefed you first. But Bethel parent Derek Grafton yeah, says mean, that's not what he was hoping know, his honestly, sixth grade daughter would right be discussing cup, in art class. I was honestly appalled. I'm not taking issue with the message, whether uh, we as a family agree with that information or not. That, that's a different debate. My concern was how the information was presented. Grafton says his daughter told him that another student had asked about the poster and that the teacher then engaged students in a long conversation about gender identity. I believe it's my wife's and I's job to teach morals, ethics, and values based on what's important to our family. And I feel the school betrayed that. The school district says that the poster, which is meant for training teachers, not students, was put up mistakenly. And it's a device used um, in professional development to help staff understand um, gender identity and their roles in ensuring that every student that walks in the door of their classrooms feels welcome, safe, and valued by everyone else in that classroom. Gill says that the class discussion did not touch on sexuality, just identity. The superintendent also says that gender identity discussions do happen at the request of individual students or in cases of bullying, also in health curricula. When we do our health classes in middle school and high school, um, students and families are welcome to review the curriculum and families are welcome to opt out of that. The school has sent an apology to all Meadowview families and says they're open to one-on-one -on -one discussions with anyone who is still concerned. In Bethel, Kelly Anderson reporting.